to the number one shit talking podcast. We're your hosts, uh, Connor and Jackson. Um, fuck, last week's episode was a fucking banger. It got well received. Last two episodes, actually. Yeah, last season two has been really good. Season yeah. two, the kickoff of season two has been really good, really well received. We're breaking bad. Better in season two and than season one. And now, well, now it's like, does it all come crumbling down in this episode? We've got big shoes to fill now, all right? Like Big shoes. Big shoes, big shoes. Huge. Yeah. The, you see these shoes and you're like, that guy must have a huge yeah. cock. And we got to fill that. Well, I actually forgot how to do podcasting. Like, I'm autistic. <laughs> I, oh, I thought yeah. that was your autistic power, though, as you're good at that. <laughs> yes. Well, I actually had something to bring up. So, I finally figured out why they keep coming back. <laughs> so, I mean... If I think of this, and if I if I were to like just stumble across a YouTube channel, and I saw two autistic people <laughs> talking, yeah, and I was like, okay, okay, I okay. would be like, oh my god, this could be total carnage, or this could be good, which is a bad thing. Yeah, and you you start watching five minutes, click off, and go, yeah, that was just normal and kind of boring. Yeah, that seemed like, like a, eh. that seemed like a good episode. Yeah, like I was. Kind of watching to see them burn. Yeah, it's like watching um Love on the Spectrum or something. Yeah, like um I watched I follow this TikTok of these two like Down Syndrome guys that cook food together. It's fucking awesome. I'll actually link it to you. It's, it's a lot breakfast. Of yeah, I do. It's like we're going to egg on tolf, and it's like and they're doing it, and the one's like a little bit less retarded than the other one. So he's full on just going to him and going like, oh no, not like that, and just take it off him and shit. And you see the other one's like sad. They one's like a six year old mentally, and the other one's like a fifteen year old. Oh my goodness! So he's like bullying this like other like full grown man, and it's it gets a bit sad sometimes, but really fucking funny when it goes well. And you feel good for them. They keep getting wins, and they cook better than me. So um, I don't know you want to say about that. I'm a bit. Uh, oh, I'm not sick, but I'm on the back end of a bit of a cold. So I've got a bit of a cough, so bear with me if you hear me cough during this episode. It shouldn't be often, but <laughs> it just cough in the camera like a half the time I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> just every time Connor says something important, I'm gonna cough. So um, start. <laughs> okay, let's just get into our recap. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um How was your week your weekend? Um fuck yeah, pretty good, man. Um I actually had a sick job interview um fuck this yeah. week. Uh yeah. yesterday. Had to dress up, had to shave the beard off and everything. Ooh. Looking a bit fresh. Um, my hair's looking a bit gumpy because I'm wearing a hat, but um, <laughs> I got to get a haircut. Um, but yeah, it was really good. So I'll just go into the interview. Like, it's for a sales job while um, being a broker. So, oh yeah, but being Wolf a broker, of Wall Street. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like, I'm gonna get addicted to coke now instead of just like you know being a tradie to, to beating my misses. <laughs> but I'll still be my misses. I just won't do it as much. Yeah, just just like you know when she steals my coke. Yeah, but um, the interview is actually intense. Like fucking intense, like like camping, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get that one. Um, no, it was like so. They didn't really care about my qualifications at all. They just used my um, like my skills part on my resume, just to be a go through and ask me how I would describe them. Like, oh, so we wrote this. How would you describe that? How would you show that? And it was just trying to get me to fast pace like shit talk with them. Oh, and they God. went to like a full ten minutes of that, and he was like. Oh, well, that doesn't actually really matter. Scratch all, scratch all. And goes, you did well. It's just working under pressure. Like, okay. you're great. You're okay. great. So that's, I feel like that's how job interviews should be. Yeah, it was but intense, man. Because, I was sweating my ass because, off. Because, like, maybe not your first job. Like, if that's your first job. <laughs> you're like, at, like, Subway or something. You're like, <laughs> yeah. You probably shit your pants. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that doesn't matter. And you're just like, what? I, I Googled that. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, but this is, like, probably my actual, like, first real job interview. Because yeah, every other job I've gone to is just like through a friend or someone else just like yeah. walked in. And, um, so you've been living off the coattails of all your Yes, mates. yes. How, how everyone does. <laughs> like getting a, getting a job yourself is like such a weird thing for guys, I feel. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, my weekend, what did I do? Nothing. Sick. Well, lucky my recap was a bit juicy then, eh? No, yeah. My, I mean, my <laughs> weekend consisted of... Um, being sick and the kids being sick and just giving a bad to each other and when kids get sick they get really irritated and they get screamy and screechy and yeah it's not it's not fun I guess because they're two different ages too you've got two different like vocal links so you can't block both of them out yeah and you and sometimes one cries the other 
Christ, it's, it's it's a cycle. It's a cycle. Sneezing in your open mouth and shit. Um, how I'm sitting right now, if you're watching, I'm leaning forward. If you're listening, um, it's a little uncomfortable. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm hiding the drinks of the week. So we're gonna get right. Oh, into the okay. I wonder in- you. I was just mirroring you because I thought it was how I was supposed to do it. I'm gonna get right into the drink interview. So, a few weeks back now. Reviewed one of the shittest, most disappointing <laughs> drinks. <laughs> so this week, we've got the better beer, ginger beer. It's shitty brother. Let's see how we go. So it's the little uh, autistic Down syndrome brother. It's it's the um, redheaded stepchild of um, better beer. Yeah, little ginger cunt. Um, the, the more hated brother. So, yeah, here it is. Um, I'm actually... I sort of have higher hopes now. After, I don't think I can, at least ginger will give us a taste, I feel. Yeah. Um, well, I thought after last week's ginger beer too, I was like, I wouldn't mind trying another ginger beer. And I was sort of looking at the prices and the Bilsons had gone back up to $30. And yeah, that's like, that's just not. That's but they did have, they had Portello and they had the peaches and cream. And I was Ooh. like, oh, that would have been nice. But I was like, fuck it. We did speak about this. Ginger beer smell. It smells um. It smells weird though. It smells like a fucking doctor's office. Do you reckon? <laughs> the dick doctor. The dick doctor. I'm scared of them. <laughs> um, let's have a cheers and a little sip. Cheers and a sip. Yeah. Wow, they managed to make it have no taste but ginger. What the fuck? Bro, man? better beer is actual AIDS. What the How fuck? How do you fuck up ginger beer? Bundaberg's been making it good for like, what, 100 years? And they still managed to fuck this up. Lower sugar. Now, it's so AIDS. There's no... There's too much ginger. It's not even lower sugar. Like, okay, one serving per can, per serving. It's got 13 and a half grams of sugar in it still. That's quite, still a bit of sugar, you know? Is it? 148 calories a can. That's a lot. Wow. That's a lot for this. Wow, I'm disappointed. I don't even want to drink the other ones. I can't. These aren't worth the calories, eh? I'm disappointed again. They say four percenters. Again. Yeah, this is even more disappointing because it just tastes like ginger, and I don't even like ginger that much, honestly. I fucking hate gingers. (laughs) But honestly, um, could have a ginger fetish just because I like abusing them. So like, I like to date them, give them a false insecurity, then just destroy their lives. You like to date them, they fall in love with you, then they work for you. Pretty much, yeah. And um, I start them, I start camp, making them cam girls. Web- webcam girls. To be fair, though, I only have one ginger ex, and she does have an OnlyFans. So. Really? Yeah, I don't yeah. get a cut of it, though. So We'll be talking about that. Yeah, off air, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah, fuck. Fuck, dude. I That is so disappointing. Like, okay, I... Didn't, I hate it. I didn't have any <laughs> expectations, like to be like, yes, this is gonna be good, because I heard about the beer and it was like, everyone's raving on about this shit. Yeah, They're like oh, no I'll try one's the raving, no one's raving on about this. Yeah, no, it, was, it just kind of came out, it stealth bombed out. Yeah, and, and no like, one seemed to I'm care. Like, you know what? I might fucking have a little, I might dip my finger in that one. Did you dip your finger in it? Dip your penis in it. Um, dip your finger in the ginger. <laughs> Just put my finger in the can Just rips off my finger <laughs> Yeah Just cut your finger Um Oh it's not even really refreshing either Like these are cold yeah. But then it just tastes like ginger And then like It's like you put ginger in water It's like ginger tea or something you know Dude is this It tastes like tea Is this seriously another drink That we're not gonna like finish them all Oh fuck I'll probably get a drink It's a hot day And I'm thirsty yeah. While we're talking At least they're like 4% of it, so At least they're decently strong Maybe I'll do another one after. That is fucking so disappointing. Are we going to neck these from the can? or? Um, I'm going to go get us a cup, so I'm so. going to have to take a quick cut very shortly. But before that, we'll do a quick review yeah, okay. of it. So, um, all right, so we'll read again if we didn't establish it properly. Better beer. Ginger beer. I'll, put one, I'll show sugar. the camera. Well, I can zoom in on the actual case there. Oh, sick. That's a good way of doing it. Um, it only took us fucking 12 episodes to get there. Yeah. I mean, their slogan is day for it. A day for what? Hating your life. A day for suicide. <laughs> this is the last day. <laughs> <laughs> day for it. Day for yeah. it. What's the day? Yeah, just fucking necking up. Yeah, fuck, dude. I'm... Bro, better be you. You fucking... You, uh, um, what's it called? The 
inspired unemployed boys fucking hell they don't even deserve a shout out nah nah you guys suck you deserve a call out yeah well, i want to call you out and start some beef with you online dude I, I literally feel like going and grabbing like four teaspoons of sugar and just chucking it in uh, here and we've already got 135 cal- 148 calories in this oh, who gives a fuck well, i mean like if they if they're gonna fucking make, give it like a higher calories anyway and not make it like you know like like zero calories like mm. a fucking um white claw at least make it taste good yeah like, don't make it taste like a white claw and still get, make me fat. That is fucking... Oh, dude. Boys, what are, you, what, are you, what are you boys doing? Uh, well, Imagine, we gotta try the no, the no, um, no alcohol one next. Might be alright. It's just, it's just a can of water. <laughs> it's just like soda water. It probably, honestly, will taste like that. Yeah, they have no flavor. Um, uh, well, do you want to give it the review? I'm gonna give it a fucking like f- flat four. Yeah, I'm gonna go three and a half. Yeah, and I flat. said it a while ago. If 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 the review rating is lower than the percentage of alcohol, that's pretty. It's yeah, pretty bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go say right on it honestly because like four, four. Yeah, it's four percent. So at least it's not super weak. It's not like a full fucking like mid strength, but. No flavor. The ginger's okay. Um, it, it's it's if you're into ginger, I feel it'd be better. Like I'm not really into ginger. I like my ginger beers being quite strong. Like I like a good like six percent of ginger beer. Mm. This is just like fucking. This is fucking water. It's like it's like ginger tea or something. It's fucking gross. Yeah, it's really bad. I'm it's so got more sorry. than fifty percent less sugar than the average ginger beer. So okay, that's. I'm so sorry that we keep doing this. Man, we got to get a win some time but soon. We are reviewing drinks so they don't have to. Yeah, don't try this. I mean, because cause like I said the other day, I'm going to start clipping up all the drink reviews. I'll go back and start mm. from when we started scoring them. Yeah, sweet. And you know, you can come to our page, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, follow us. Yeah. Um, But you can come to that and you can be like, what are the boys reviewed this week? I feel like getting a new drop. To drink. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, ginger beer. Fuck. I've seen that a few times. I might get it. Yeah. Uh, don't. Don't, yeah. Just the fuck this one off. Don't. It's not special. Still don't get it. So, um, if, actually, it's, if it's marked down to $3, don't get it. No, nah, at that point, it's cheaper than buying metho, so you might as well. The alcohol's better. That's the only time, though, when it's cheaper than buying, like, you know, hand sanitizer. Yeah. Or uh, heroin. Yeah, oh, probably. I don't actually know how much heroin is in the Gold Coast. Um, like it, like put a <laughs> put a comment down below if you think you know what heroin costs in the Gold Coast, and we are going to find it or stay away from it. I should say. <coughs> also, um, yeah, in saying like people trying them, the bro Jared was trying some of those um Jamisons we had. Oh yeah, he said they're fucking delicious. So yeah. that's a good review, and you can trust us because they're yeah. fucking great. Certified uh, reviewees. Yeah. Would you say? Um, you could say that our taste buds are on the same level of Gordon Ramsay, um, that Andrew are, Tate, that other dude on Master Chef, um, Matt Preston, yeah, um, Kaz, hum, the hum, VB alcoholic dude that goes twenty eight yeah, in the fucking morning. His um, taste buds, Dana White, yeah, Hamza Chimaev, like. <laughs> Just all these people that have immaculate taste buds, where we're sitting in the same tier as them. Yeah, I'd say that. Like, it, if we all went to dinner at a restaurant, me, Gordon, Connor, we'll be able. I was to on a first name basis now. You're like, yeah, the bro Gords. Yeah, yeah, the Gordo. bro, the Gordo. bro Gordy. Yeah. He doesn't like being called Gordy from anyone else, but he's close mates. Yeah, um, but he just yeah. can't call him in public, or he gets a bit pissed off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or um, Ram Dog as well. Well, we're going to take a quick little cut here because I'm going to go get the uh, cups. All right. And you're watching Pony on the Rocks sucking big cocks. <laughs> I can't say it better than that. All right, we're back. The boys are back. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. This this episode's been shit so far. <laughs> yeah. People are like, yep, and they hit the wall. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, two episodes into season two. And the third episode flopped. Yep, yep, that's it. No viewers. Um, actually, people are unsubscribing. <laughs> yeah. That's an effort. Yeah. All right, we're going to do our skull off. The, right. this, the tally is officially one all for the season. Yeah. 
for the year. Including Cooper. Well, yeah, one, one, one. <laughs> yeah. Guests are one as well. That's sure. pretty poor for us. Yeah. We've only had one guest and they've beat us. Yeah, well, that shit, I, like, it just got caught in my throat and like I, could, like, I could not drink it. Yeah, guests are Cooper's a fucking garbage disposal. <coughs> <coughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, that was for the ASMR. ASMR, um, sick child. Okay, um, Connor's going to commentate my paw, and then I'm going to commentate his paw. All right, let's see how we go. Let's look at some. Let's look at the color, the consistency, and, and see what it looks like. Oh, it looks. Eh, you can't really tell through the glass. It looks pretty. It looks pretty gingery. It looks like a bit of like a, like a sprite or like a lift. Yeah, like a lift. no fizz, no lift. fizz, no bubbling. Lift. Um, well done, well done. Looks more like a yeah lift solo cum sort of color. Oh, um, my. Yeah, all right, Connor with the, the paw. Oh, nice little. Yeah, this drink shit. Again, I think Connor. Yeah, he's definitely had more. Oh, it's fairly close. Yeah, fairly. Little, little no, it's fairly close. Slow. All right. Well, um, as always, hopefully I'm in frame. Um, as <laughs> always, bear with us, audio listeners, because we are about to have a. Skull off, our skull off. Yeah, and um, if yeah, if you can't really, you can't be really able to hear anything, um, you know, maybe just consider watching the videos as well, or you can just go on the YouTube, watch the same video that you already just watched, just see this little part you missed out on, and then we get both the views. Yes, yes, and um, yeah, Donald Trump will run again. Will run again against Kanye. Yes, yes. Oh, I got to talk about Kanye right after this. Oh, right after yeah, this. Yeah, right after this. Coming, right after this quick. Coming um, up next. If we can have this alcoholism break. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly cops. Sweet ass. We're putting down our mouth. Mi- putting putting, putting <laughs> upper mouths and putting down our mics. We keep throwing our mics. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for the audio listeners. Well, they're going to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh yuck! Yuck! All right, so Jack and Jackson just, just, just what? beat me. That is fucking awful, dude. That's fucking foul, eh? Usually, don't get worse when you scull them. When would you drink this? Um, what occasion? It's, is it's, this what you drink at a funeral? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Everyone, everyone's sad. And no, it's like, what it's when you get. It's when you're like. The great-great-grandmother dies that hated everyone, and she says specifically in her will, we can have alcohol, but it's only better beer ginger beer. <laughs> it's only better beer at my Just funeral. so she gets one last laugh. Oh. And the food is only, like, pretty cold quiches. Dude, I wish we had a set and we could just, like, chuck these. That'll be, uh, one day, one day. We're just like... <laughs> we just share the like, glasses <laughs> every week. We just keep buying Macca's meals to get the glasses. We're like, dude, we spend about $400 on Macca's a week to get these glasses, but it's okay. We're, it's, we're like, it's that's for the drink review. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, all right, well, fuck it. Let's. Um, I'm gonna put this down because there's no use for that e- ever again. Um, well, feet in this episode again. Are we doing? Are we doing this again? We're trying to sh- show the OnlyFans. Yeah. Um. Well, we spoke about Kan Kanye briefly, but a yay. Let's get um, into it. Ye- is it you or yay? Yay. Yay. But he's changed his name to yay, isn't it? Hasn't yeah. he? Um. Well, it's, isn't it weird? But it's because Yeezy, not Yeezy. I was just about to say that. That's why it confuses me. Can ye? Can ye? <laughs> can ye? <laughs> can oh, I love a bit of can ye waste. Can ye? Okay, so we'll talk about um, our mate, our mate, our mate Kane. Um, so he's now got an Australian waifu. Um, yes. Yep, fucking banger. I said last week, looks a bit like Kim K. But um, because she's Australian, she wants to come back to Australia, right? Um, Kanye West is having a bit of trouble with his visa at the moment. After saying it was anti-Semitic shit, the Australian government just didn't think they're going to let him in. Mm. They didn't let Tyler Crater in. I'm pretty sure we didn't let Chris Brown in. For yeah, ages. that was it for the domestic violence charges. Um, so yeah, Kanye West might declare war on Australia. We've got to get a mad diss track. Although, now I'm being a visionary here. Kanye West gets in the country. 
Party on the Rocks links up with Kanye. We do a, we do the exclusive interview. Kanye, the second guest on yeah. the podcast. We have a Russian flag flying. We get him in the middle of us. Oh. He's hanging out. He brings up the fucking glasses he hasn't worn in 10 years for us. We're wearing the swastika around band. Yeah, yeah. And it, <laughs> that sounds so good. That actually, how sick would that be? We're just like, we just got to bullshit and talk to his media agency. We're like, like, we like hope Joe you Rogan. don't mind us calling you And he's like, <laughs> no, I don't like them. He's like, he's like, I'm not one of those either. It's fine. I'll sit with you boys. He's like, he's like, I identify as a Nordic white man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an Aryan. <laughs> and we would ask him the very hard hitting questions. Like, is it Kanye or is it Kanye? And he'd be like, I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I've got to reconsider my life now. <laughs> you sound like American Psycho, like Patrick Bateman. You're Kanye. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kanye. Um, we could we could also ask him like, like uh, we could always ask is Kim K's ass real? Like yeah. he had no he had no jiggle test. Or we could ask Pete Davidson that too. We can get every. Well, one I, was, in. I was just about to say we can ask him the very hard hitting questions. Have you seen Pete's cock? Is <laughs> it, it really 10? Yeah, is it really 10? Or is that just like him in frantic mode? And if it's a 10, are you bigger? <laughs> I reckon it was like, the only reason you could know is if like Kim sent a picture of her sucker or something to, to destroy him. <laughs> and he's just like, this is guy with a 10 inch dick fucking my wife. Of course I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like, how the fuck? Like, the fact that you put a tweet about it and it's like, now the girls are running to Pete. Yeah. Pete? Free, it's free real estate. Well, Pete, free Pete's um, on the market at the moment. So any yeah. ladies out there looking for a fucking ten inch horse wang, cock? Any 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 girl that has daddy issues and wants to be hurt by a man? Yeah, yeah. Because my girlfriend says five's enough. So sorry, Pete. Guess you can fuck a uh, half. I guess. Well, my missus says three's all right. Yeah, well, five's enough. But usually, I fuck her twice. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's usually fine with that. You say, oh, just give me half now, half later, because I'm getting into the finance game. <laughs> so I'm like, do like some some interest on it, you know? In- and I put a yes. finger in the butt in the end one, so it's the interest. Yeah. But well, speaking of a finger in the butt, when I was... <laughs> when I was 12. When I was a kid, um, Cooper, <laughs> he was he would have been like four. Yeah. And he started to put his finger in his ass and like give it to the dog. Fucking hell. And the dog came back every time. You got so taste like, for it. I'm screaming out like, oh, that's fucking disgusting. And my mom comes out and she's like, what? What's going on? And I was like, it's probably better if I show you. <laughs> and I was like, Cooper, do it again. Just finger, just finger Cooper's ass for him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and the dog came back and to, to lick it off. And I didn't know who was more in the wrong in that situation, Cooper or the dog. Well, I feel like, um, yeah, I, I that's a hard one. And anyway, it's just fucked up. Like, I felt bad for the dog. It is fucked up. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. It is fucked up. But was Cooper getting, like, sexual gratification out of it? He was Was he hard? (laughs) Was he hard, though? (laughs) He was four. Was he hard? You're going to ask the question. I don't know. (laughs) What are we looking at a four-year-old's dick for, bro? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. So, uh, I got (laughs) something funny to bring up. Um, We have a lot of... Oh... It makes sense now. We're like we're on the spectrum. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. The rainbow spectrum, and our mate, our mates are all on the spectrum. Yeah, we hang out with a group of autists. Well, I just realised. So, you may not remember, but you probably will. We used to go to Hungry Jack's every afternoon on a Thursday. Yeah, at, bro. At yeah. school, and I worked there, so I got us a discount. The Mad Dog. And I remember we went there one time. Do you want to know? And um. Yeah, I'll grab my. Okay. I don't. I don't need handouts. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't need a hand. I have nails. It's fine. Um, yeah, we went there one day, and you know, you'd order your meal, and me and you always used to order an extra burger. Yeah, that's right. And um, we're like, oh fuck yeah, got a roadie. Yeah, go get the road burger. Got to get the road burger. And Alistair comes over to us. He's like. What's on the road burger? <laughs> but, oh no, just go get one, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you said that. You're like, yeah. y- y- like whatever you want. And he's like, so what do I ask for? Just a road burger. And we're like, what? No. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? You just order any other burger and you take it on the road. That's he's, like, oh. he's like, oh. He's so like, oh. It's, it's not, not a road burger. So it's not an actual burger. And we're like, no. Fucking. 
<laughs> Dead set. And I know it's, but it it makes sense now because we're all. Yeah, once you get past that, it's like, do you reckon? In my mind, I don't know if super or certain to say disabled people know they're disabled. Like they don't, they don't have the mental capacity to realize they're different. And then I thought about like that's just all of us. Our whole group doesn't realize. Yeah. Just because we're slightly out of SCU, it's we're, we're okay. Who do you reckon's more on the spectrum? Most on the spectrum. In our like, group. Oh, like that's not like. It's a hard one. Probably say you, eh? Oh, thanks. <laughs> nah, um, I think Alistair's definitely up there. <laughs> I mean, I could be on the... I am on the... I, yeah. I'm on the spectrum. We've done a test. We should get all the boys when we see him for cricket day and just make them all do a test. Yeah, are you coming? Yeah, yeah I'll come. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, fuck yeah. Cricket. Put on the rocks live. We play cricket. Yeah. We'll be live streaming our... Um, we're calling it the Rashes. So that should be really good because I'm going to... That's a good name, by the way. Yeah, we're but calling it the Rashes. The team who um, wins uh, takes home herpes. Oh, I thought it was like a sunburn thing. But that sounds even way more fun. But uh, that'd be good if we can do an extra episode because I'm leaving to Bali on the 20th. An extra episode? If we do like a, one extra. When? Well, I'm leaving February 20th. I'm leaving to Bali. So I'll miss a week? Yeah, yeah. That's and that way we can actually just like... Oh, do a podcast. Yeah, that's what I mean. We could we could just use that one as the next week's one. Oh, right. Well, no, because we're going to... I guess you wouldn't really be able to edit We're playing it, cricket on the 18th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll just do one in the meantime. Oh, but anyway. if we... Yeah, okay. Um, we, we can talk about this off air. Yeah, we're just, we're just like talking about the other legs. Let's just talk about marketing and um, our t-shirt strategies while we're on this. Yeah, Um, the cotton is not going to be picked by... Oh, yeah, we got to use sustainable cotton because, ooh, people cry about using the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, so now, you know what the shirts are $35 instead of 15 Now you know. Yeah. Speaking of fifteen dollars, Connor paid fifteen dollars for OnlyFans. <laughs> that was just a tr- <laughs> good segue. I was good just trying segue. to set up a segue to my, get um, my into actual, it. This is actually an OnlyFans gripe. It's it's set, it's my plot. My uh, I guess my what my plot point is OnlyFans, but it's really no OnlyFans. Shocking. So um, you know you follow a lot of like hot models or just like influencers or just in general pretty girls. It's so annoying if they're into fitness because they have like a fucking Misha, Mish kick milkshake link or like a link tree in their bio and you're like, shit, the bitch, she you're finally like, got oh, fucking sh- OnlyFans, let's go. You're out there, dick's already out, it always is. You open it up and it's like, oh, what? I don't want to get fucking protein powder. To or my fucking- vlog channel. Yeah, what's this? Like, what is, why are you linking your YouTube? You don't even do booty workout videos. Like, this is just your TikTok. Yeah. And it's so annoying. And it's honestly, like, just girls, can you, like find a link just if it's not a sexual link just put them in your bio normally because the only reason yeah. anyone's clicking them is for only fans and they're not going to click on your gym shark or your fucking protein powder link i wonder if you get paid for the clicks on the link tree nah because there's no ads on them all oh, right 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 i think they you can pay, pay for to a, have them. you can pay for a premium version though because we have a link tree but it's not like a pay yeah one. yeah um i had something to talk about on only fans too do you reckon at the um, what are they called? Like the rallies, the protests of like the equal rights, equal yeah, whatever. Do you reckon they discuss the uh the wage gap? The wage gap, only fans. That that would fans? be a good thing to discuss. Um, because like I can't get into OnlyFans. You can. You just wouldn't make cash. That's. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I can't, like, I can't get into it sus- sustainable. Yeah, sustain just to, to sustainably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's um, it's really shitty like that. Like, unless you're like Johnny Sins, and they're really the only money's coming from, like, actual him fucking girls. I swear, like, I'm I'm subscribed to his, and it's like free. Yeah, and it's like, why not? There's naked girls in there that like I want to see. Like Renee Gracie was on, and that's why I subscribed because like, oh, I want to see her. She'd be hot. Mm. And then it's like, it's mostly just him sending up videos of him fucking jacks. So I get it. And then one time it's like just pictures of me and it's like pictures of his dick and you're like, I don't, I don't want to see this. Yeah, it's just like. This is, now I'm paying money for gay porn and this is a bit fucked it's up. It's like touching his nipple. You're like, dude, you need to cock that bitch. He's just sucking his own dick and you're like, I don't. You're like, what the fuck? Is this, is this super gay? Is this like double gay? <laughs> I, I, this brings me to another thing that I thought of. I have so many thoughts at work. So many thoughts at work. 
And now that I have look at work out your job. Well, yeah, <laughs> dude. It's the only. It's where I make money, but it's not where I make these dreams happen. Yeah, that's right now on the casting couch. On the casting couch. No, no, no. So I have so many thoughts at work, and I'm like, "Fuck! I need to start bringing my notepad." Brought my notepad in, and I just write that shit down as soon as I think of it, because I'm like, if I don't write this down now, I'm gonna lose the idea. And Apparently, that's what, like, Albert Einstein used to do. Yeah. And it's obviously... Like most, most creators do that, yeah. There's a lot of, like, similarities between myself and Albert. I think you're both autistic. Yeah, um... That's where it stops. Yeah, that's about where it stopped. And you both He's, were really into German um, politics. Yes. He's a genius, I'm not. Oh, I think it's... If, if Kanye West's a genius, we're geniuses. Okay. Well, I'm a genius. Because we're all just super racist. Yes. Yes. Yes, merch coming soon. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a doozy. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking, is it gay to have sex with a woman that turned to a man? That's a really hard one. I think that's a good. That's like a hot tag. Um, I I don't know. I had this conversation the weekend with someone because they were talking about um, you know those like. He, him, she, she, he was, you know, it is like she, her, but it's like, no, I don't want to be a gender. So I'm like a gender neutral person. Mm. It's like no gender. And it's like, what do you say? Like, do you say your girlfriend or what? Maybe you say your partner, I guess. Like, but if it was like a girl to a boy and there's still a vagina and stuff, I feel like it's still straight. Just like it's still gay if you're fucking a, a like, you know, the opposite way around. Because, yeah, so that's what I was going to say. So if you thought that was gay, I was going to be like, well... I think trans shit's gay, but, like, I don't know. I still find it hot as fuck. I think it's just the taboo of it. I think, um... I think if these people were around when Hitler was around... (laughs) They wouldn't be around. They would not be around uh, anymore. So so we're just going to try and offend every group besides our target demographic, which is... 14 to 24 white males. 14 to 16 white males. Sorry, yeah, we don't really get the two years. Also, isn't it weird how you can do good your whole life and as soon as you do one bad thing, that's what you get dragged for. Yeah. I fucked that boy once. (laughs) And now you can't go to any schools, you can't go to any plays. Exactly. You can't fucking watch Hannah Montana anymore. You're banned on Disney+. Plus. I get it, he was 11. Yep. He said he was 18. <laughs> he, he said he, cl- he shaved really closely. <laughs> like he was like, oh, his body removal clean. I'm a swimmer. And I'm like, yeah, sick. I didn't realize you, you did pick him up from like swimming lessons, though. That might have been the problem. And like, he still just floaties on when you first saw him. Uh, this is um, spiraling because <laughs> this is just absolute dribble. Yeah. We're just dribbling out of our ass right now. So, should we get into a topic? Yeah, all right. Um, fuck. Lawn bowls. Lawn. Think about dribbling your asses, being incontinent and being old. Okay. Let's go. Okay, lawn bowls. So, this is a thought that I had today at work, right? If lawn bowls ever came became an Olympic sport, I'm starting a petition for um, lawn bowls to be in the uh, Paralympics. <laughs> Because when you play lawn foot bowls, you're basically disabled when you're playing. What? Because you drink so much. Yeah, okay. That was we go with that. <laughs> you drink so much that you get disabled and you play. It's so could you imagine, you know, people in wheelchairs rocking up and it's just two dudes drunk as fuck playing and they win. I love that. They win gold that. for Australia. It'd be funny because like, you'd start it right and it'd be the whole doping thing. And you treat your drink bottles like, they're just drinking normal water. This is how they're drunk. Oh my God, ban them for life. <laughs> <laughs> they're drinking non-alcoholic. They're drinking bitter beers. Oh my God, they're focused. They're drinking bitter beers and they're non-alcoholic. And they're, oh, nah, these boys are fucked. <laughs> oh, fuck. They give you a breath though. It's like, you're not blowing over the legal limit to drive. You can't be playing this sport. Yeah, you can't be playing this sport. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that, that was just a, a shower thought that I had. I like that. that it was, was like, you know, and, you know, leave a fucking message down below. Or comment, whatever the fuck you call it. What would your Paralympic sport be? 
Yeah, what would your parent? If you were to all of a sudden get disabled, what would you do for Paralympics? Or if you were, if you're already disabled, what would you do if you could walk again? <laughs> Make love to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna offend so many. We're people. just on a war path trying to get every group. This is um, what? This is the episode we get cancelled. We're, we're trying really hard. We, like in in two years' time, when we're on like episode like two hundred. Yeah. This is the episode that they're going to call back to. They're going to be like, well, they were saying this and they were saying that. So, so in my interview, right, they asked about the podcast yeah. and they asked, they got the Reddit down stuff and um, I haven't got a call back yet, but I'll be surprised if, depending on what episode they watch, it's like a fucking, it's like a Russian roulette at this point. Yeah. It could be really normal and really, oh, that's cool. They skip to a part where we're just like constantly just saying the N word. They skip to a part where I've got the purple gimp mask yeah. on. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's a really good episode. It's like, yeah, it's most it's most viewed. It's just <laughs> me and you just bag of dicks in it and just like, getting, or just getting blind drunk yeah. and yelling at the camera. I mean, who cares what you do in your spare time? <clears throat> yeah, but I'm trying to like um, I help mean, they, you up with million dollar loans. <laughs> they, they, they do realise that um, once we start making money, you, you're not going to be doing that job. Yeah, no. Um, it's it's all on here. I already talked about monetizing it. They asked about the whole editing process. Yeah. And everything. And I was like, yeah, I'd totally do that. Did you? <laughs> yeah, bro. I fucking lied hard. I said, I said, I wasn't going to say all I do is sit there and talk shit. That makes me look way worse. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, that other guy does. He's like, you should get him in for an interview. Yeah, yeah. go go to Fred. You fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh, fuck. oh, he's the brains of the operation. What do you do? Ah, oh, I just sit there and get Sweet drunk. Sweet fuck off. Um, all right, well, I've got my fact for the week coming up. Oh, yes. um, this one is not as much of a story. It's just another fun fact that's going to ruin cute animals for you. So, dogs, right? They love their dog toys. Squeaky, chewy, fun. Um, I'm just going to try first gonna try to sell dog toys now. <laughs> I'm like, well, getting my sales position. Yeah. Well. Um, okay, so, the, have you ever wondered why dogs love like squeaky things so much? Is it because of the high-pitched noise they hate? No, no, it's because of the noise... Um, and like the flesh of squeezing it, if them it sounds like a frightened animal or like a wounded animal. Oh, okay. Like when a, like when they get like a catch like a small goat or a cat, they'll go like, meow and like scream a little yeah. bit as they're squeezing them, and so it gives them that like pleasure. So they they're sadistic. So we, that's why they play around with like chickens and shit. They rip them up and they just like you know they just fuck yeah. them up. So that's what chew toys are them. So every time you see a, 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 um, your dog playing a cute chew toy, it's really imagining ripping this thing to death and loving it. Wow. Yeah, so that's another animal ruined. Um, tune back next week for... Um, squeaky toy. I mean, I bought you hippos. a squeaky toy for Christmas. Yeah, I haven't given it to a dog yet. The rubber chicken. It's fucking annoying. My brother's found it. Ah, oh, right. So here in the house, and he's also a bit of an autist too, so... <laughs> um, he loves that chicken. He's like harmonizing with it in How the old is he now? He's 10. And still wearing nappies. <laughs> I mean, only only fucking when Gary's around. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta protect the boy. Yeah. So, um, turns out Clint didn't die. <laughs> no, no. Gary was in a police standoff with Clint all along. Yes. Yeah, and they end up killing. I think it was they like, killed three or four cops. Yeah. In the book, and then one one got away. Um, it was up. It was up past Brisbane. It was like um. Yeah. Who um, was it? I don't know. Marucci door. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know. Big shootout. Pretty crazy. Um. Clinton managed to get out okay. Just kind of left when it happened. Um, yeah. Kind of just fucked up the back door. Gary connived his way out of there. Did yeah, Gary somehow manage to get deported to a country he's not from and yeah. then come back? <laughs> <laughs> the mad dog went to Bali for two weeks, got a holiday out of it. Um, we also need to address the rumours. Gary is not a dog. Sorry, Jared. It was a good fan theory, but Gary is not a dog. I'm loving the conspiracy. He's someone's bitch, but he's not a dog. Yes. I'm loving the conspiracy theories. They're good. Gary. We'll keep them growing. Like, there's only been one, but... <laughs> we, that's, that's, that's enough. That's all that um, matters. Well, eventually, once we get shirts out there, um, we can have a Where's Gary shirt. And if we get enough sales, we can actually put the face of Gary on it. Yes. Yeah, because right now, Gary doesn't want to be revealed. No, no. And but I like the idea of Gary not having a face. Yeah, Gary's just this, like... He's like Voldemort, you know? He yeah. just he, he, and he, that was a real. I was actually saying the word Voldemort. It wasn't it wasn't a beep for yeah, Paris? It, <laughs> it wasn't a beep. Yeah. Um. <coughs> We've just got wanking written on the board. What's that about? Where is that wanking right there? 
Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> wanking. Wanking. Okay. So I was wondering, besides a sexual partner or someone that you have a sort of that sort of relationship yeah. with, do you think that anyone has ever masturbated to you? To the thought of you? Oh, nah. Nah. Any girl that I haven't, like, seen, like, a dick pic to or, like, been, like, sexually talking to, I feel like hasn't. Yeah. But I feel like every guy probably thinks that unless they're, like, a fucking model. But girls, bro, like, I've had some fucking weird wanks, eh? Well, I was about to say, so it takes me back to um, someone we've mentioned before on the podcast. Yeah. Name won't be it said. Or if I say it, it will be beeped. Um, we're in high school, and he went up to a certain girl, <laughs> and he said, ah, I, I masturbated over you. <laughs> Do you remember this? No. What was this? Over oh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh. So he walked up to her and said, like, hey, um, like I had a wank over you. That's fucked. That's so fucked up. That's like... So like I remember her telling me, actually, she was scarred. Yeah, well, I, f- I feel like it's one thing... To have a wank over a chick or whatever, like, but to let her know, to let them know, like, imagine like DMing fucking Lana Rhodes. Hey, I mean, I feel like that's okay because they have OnlyFans and shit. Yeah, I suppose. But like a normal chick that's just being at school. But don't you think that's a little weird? Like, even if you message Lana Rhodes, like, hey, just had a wank over. Just you. shot a fat load. You want to see? And she's she's just never gonna open it. And no, nah, no, nah, she opens her OnlyFans. Who like who like fucking like I don't know. 24 year old like Filipino assistant yeah. like the one that runs their OnlyFans on the call center talks to you and goes oh yes darling that's very sexy let me see your pictures back and like watermarked pictures from Lana Rhodes from like 2004 well, no it's like pictures of like they're like the uh, pay to see ones yeah legit it would be yeah it would be it'd be like a $40 picture of just Lana blowing a kiss but yeah so I don't know I just again this is another one of those thoughts I had at work I'm like that's nah it's good I feel like That'd be nice though. It'd be nice to hear that someone wanked over you. Be like, oh, that's cute. You're like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. But I don't know. I don't feel like I show enough of myself off to be wanked over, you know? Yeah. If people are just wanking over Facebook, so that's, that takes that's he- he- effort. That's pretty hectic. Ooh, actually, I'm just thinking about girls now. Guys maybe do it. That'd be way funnier. I remember, actually, that gives me a story. We haven't had a mad story in a while. This is leading me on. Um,. So, I think I've already talked about the, the blowjob story with Maz, right? These get worse. They do. The I'm, I'm struggling. I think I've already talked about the blowjob story with Maz, right? I had a video of me getting head. Yeah. And Maz wants to watch it. Uh, you may have spoken about it. Maybe give I'll us give a quick recap. Re- okay, quick so recap. Yeah. We're at school one day, and um, I was always like, oh, I just got, I literally just took a video of me getting a blowjob. And Maz was like, oh, yeah, show us? And I was like... Oh, yeah, I do recall you bringing this yeah, up. Like, yeah, like, why why would I show you? It's just my dick eating stuff. He's like, oh... Yeah, it's also like your misses, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like I was like, that just seems like a weird thing. I w- I'm not winning any of this. Like showing a, you. What are you getting turned on by? My missus doing it or me? Yeah, it's like it's just, it's just my dick in her mouth. That's a bit weird, bro. So, oh, okay, and then made it like the weird. I was weird, but going from that, um, fuck it. I like you said. I was like, oh, it's weird that jerking off a dude and shit. Maz is like, no, nah, not like that. That's that's not weird. Like he was like, it's just weird. It's just a blowjob. And then I don't know how we came on to that from the same conversation, but it happened like five minutes later. I like told Maz like about like oh it's weird like I would be grossed up by like you know that's like weird jerking off over someone else like like a dude and stuff like that like someone's girlfriend and I was like weird would you be made it out if like a dude jerked over jerked over you Maz was like no that's fucking no one would do that and I'm like you can't stop it if it happens yeah. and he was getting nervously angry about not being able to stop getting jerked off of my dudes <laughs> and I'm like this just this just gay dudes just jerking off of you yeah. bro he's like no that's fucked you like bro there's like a group I- a fucking room of five dudes right now yeah. jerking off to your just face. One laptop in the middle, like really dim lights, and they're just all taking turns jerking off while watching Mez's like Facebook photos, and just scrolling <laughs> through a slideshow. <laughs> Mez's beach pics, um, 2013. I've I've jerked off over puby. Oh, so have I. So have I. He sends me good pictures. <laughs> He's like feeding me. We're like doing <laughs> we're doing wank yeah. games. We're playing cock era or something. <laughs> oh, fucking. Puby's hell. actually a jilted ex lover. Um, you've got bunnings on there. Mm. Okay, so this is a this is a two parter because I do I love bunnings yeah. and I've always said like everyone at, but works at bunnings seems to be happy as like I want to work at bunnings like when I'm ha- I have my job I just think in my mind like, I want to live at bunnings I want to work at bunnings. Why didn't you go for a job interview at bunnings? I should have, but I'm always just too scared, right? Because I like I don't know they won't hire me. I know nothing about gardening. They all seem to know what's going on. They all just tell me which aisle to go to. 
Um, this is until the other week. I had to go on for work. And I had to find some fucking hinges, right? Yeah. I was already in the work here doing my little rounds. Got called up. Hey, do you mind getting these hinges? This will look like. Here's a photo. I was like, cool. Went to Bunnings. Went to the one that was closest where I was. Go in there and go, hey, man. Um, went to the aisle. Like, hey, man, um, where's, where's so-and-so? Which aisle? He's like, oh, there's other side. Down here. Wrong fucking aisle. Yeah, totally cheers. wrong aisle. Cheers, bro. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers. I don't, I'm not going to say his name. I can't remember. But um, it was probably like Nick or something. I'm just going to call him Nick. Nick's a dick. Um, went there, wrong aisle. Finally, like, looked at my phone, Googled it. And I was like, oh, cool. It tells you the aisle on the app. Oh, yeah. Also, Buddings, that's a great system. Kmart and shit needs that. That's so fucking useful. Like, telling you exact aisle and bay so you can count them as that's where your item is. Kmart, and that store. Kmart's Garbo, though. Kmart is Garbo. If any of those department stores are like, you know, what are they called? Department stores? Yeah, stores. What do you call them? Just, yeah, like Kmart, Big W and shit. If they had that, even if Woolworths had that, if I'm trying to find like Taco Spice yes. Mix, boom, aisle here, lane, well, boom, perfect. Well, I don't know if you've ever known this, but in Woolworths, if you go down to the end of an aisle, there's like a, almost like a clipboard. Is that a thing? Oh, I've seen that, that list thing, yeah. Yeah, and that just tells you what you're looking for. So oh, like aisle, aisle one, you know, milk, bread, yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's, dude, I, I didn't know that. That's fucking great. Yeah. That's actually amazing. I'm going to use that because I get so confused looking for shit. Yeah. So, I I mean, I rarely use it, but I know that it's there. Yeah. Like, like my my Woolworths closest to me, I know where everything is. Yeah. But yeah. they've recently changed the store around. So, I'm like, what the fuck is going? You do, you're testing well, the screeching. Well, the now there's like an aisle, like, like one of the aisle things. There used to be like a you could walk through the middle. Yeah. Now there's like a... It's just like it's blocked wrong, off wrong that side. whole middle. I'm like, what the fuck's going on now? <laughs> You're there freaking out. It's like autistic <laughs> about it. Um, but yeah, back to Bunnings. Yep. So I finally found the shirt, went there. I was like, cool, I need like 400. Is this one there? I'm like, shit, all right. I'm going to call an assistant guy. I was like, hey, man, um, like I just checked. There's one here. It said there's four in stock. I need four. And he goes, oh, yeah, bro. Like sometimes that's wrong and stuff. They're probably in the back. Like I can go for have a look if you want. But, like, chances are, like, they've already been hidden somewhere. They wouldn't be able to find them. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, do you mind going and have a look? So, oh, man, honestly, they're probably not going to be there, eh? Like, it's just, like, we probably don't even have the stock here. It says four, but I don't know. I can call another store if you want to go there. And I was like... He just didn't want to do his job. I was like, nah, I would kind of rather you just have a look, honestly. <laughs> like, can you, like... <laughs> I don't really want to drive to another Bunnings so when I'm already here, like, to get the things that, that you say you have. Yep. He's like, oh, man, if you want, like, I can just call another Bunnings to you now and, like, we'll sort it out. And I was like... You're like, we're going to you sort sh- something out in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, cunt. he's like, or you can keep it your cut and I'll sort you out. Like, <laughs> I was just like, would you just go to the back and, like, even just pretend like you have a look, you know? And then you go out. And I can be like, okay, cool. He's like, oh, nah. He made a whole thing. He could just go in the back and said, nah, I couldn't find them, you know? Mm. Easy enough. But he was like, oh, they're probably on a shelf somewhere, like, real up real high. Like, it's going to be hard to find them and grab them. I'm like, why are you telling me how lazy you are? <laughs> just lie to me or something. Yeah, just say that you He was don't way too chill. Them. Just say, oh, we don't have them. Yeah. They're just like, oh, actually, yeah, it's his four o'clock. I, they've probably been stolen. I have a quick look for you. I actually had a look before you came in here. Yeah. Mm. If, they, if we had, they would be on the shelf. So I have a look for those. And if you call me a liar or bad at my job. He takes off his shirt. He's like, let's go right now, yeah, He's just jacked. This guy was also like 21 as well. So he's like a young dude. So he's probably just like freshly there. So he didn't care. He's just like on his phone. And that was the first bad experience about Bunnings. That was Pimpin' My Bunnings, by the way. So it fucking sucks. Don't, don't go to Pimpin' My Bunnings. Then I went to the one at, um, in Oxenford. Straight away. Went there because I had to go to a second store. It was all right. I was still on the clock. I was getting paid for it. Got there. Straight away. Got the ones I needed. I was like, oh, so like, um, you know, it says four at this store. I was like, Pimp and the guy was like, yeah, Pimp is like crap, crap for that. Because I was like saying to him, like, oh, the guy was like not really helpful at all. Yeah. Like, fuck this guy. He's like, yeah, Pimp is crap for that. We get a lot of like complaints about them. So yeah, fuck you, Pimp and Bunnings. Um, but also, I'll have a job because if they don't care at all about their staff, you could just bludge all day. Yeah, true. Just like make a box fort in one of the aisles. Yeah. And just never come out. Yeah. And then just leave it eight hours later. Yeah. Um, I've got something to go off on that. So I recently heard on. Might be bloke, no, sorry, Alpha Blokes podcast. And so this guy calls up and he goes, got this dilemma. Walked into Bunnings, grabbed a snag as you do. And he's like, I need the shit. (laughs) Now, that brings me to the question that he asks. And I'm asking you and I'm asking the audience. 
do you like this shit is coming now? Like, 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 oh, I could go right now. Like, if I don't get to a bathroom in the next minute, I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> All right. Do you a scoff down the, the sausage? Snag. Yeah. The snag. B. Do you put it down, leave it, and go take your shit and come back to it? C, be the weird cunt that takes it <laughs> Take in. Take it in with you. Or D, be the weirdest cunt and eat it while on the toilet. <laughs> um, to be fair, I've ate food on the toilet before. While like, shitting? Yeah, while shitting. Like, as a kid and stuff. I didn't really care. Like, I, had a, like, I already had the food on in my hand. And as I was a, like... As a kid, or how how recent was like it? A month ago, I reckon. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, like for like like twelve, thirteen. I used to do it before I realized how gross it was. Like this is probably like giving me like diseases. Yeah. Um, but I feel that situation. I had to scoff it. Like, then again, though, they're not they're not like, expensive, so you could throw it away. It's not like it's a full kebab or something, you know. Well, that's how I was gonna twist it. I was gonna say if you if you got a snack pack. Oh, bro, the snap is coming in the toilet with me. I'm clipping the clipping the thing up using like my briefcase. Yeah, I, could, I might even eat that off my lap. I'm taking a shit, honestly. Yeah, I mean, all right, we'll we'll put it to you guys in the comments. Like, what are you guys doing? Are you are you putting it down? Are you scoffing it back? Um, yeah, let us know. Yeah, it, I feel like oh, it also depends on how gross the toilets are. Yeah, well, it's a Bunnings toilet. So These are pretty I'm, good. Like, yeah, so I imagine it's pretty. You reckon good. there'd be like mad tradey gross dumps in there but like it's weird like Bunnings is like such a sanctified respectful place yeah like everyone respects the Bunnings it's like nah we don't shit here well it's like when you arrive to Bunnings it's like oh legit and you get greeted by like two angels through heavenly gates it's like come on in love come in yeah um I want to give a quick shout out to uh the brethren Jesse yeah. yes yes so um he messaged saying like talking you know He's he sent me a few stories now, um, yep. you know, and I've said to him like, it's just hard because we get we get a flow going and it's like oh, we, it's so hard to work it in, and then like have our own stories to go off. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, so, and I like, and he said, I oh, yeah, I fully understand. Like, it's just I love listening to you guys, and he's even said he's like, when you guys do merch, like I'm oh, I'm gonna buy it because he's like I just want to support you guys yeah fuck yeah so shout out to shout Jesse. Jesse love that one man literally the only one true mate and fan yeah that we have yeah like it's like a it's like a friend of both of ours and also a fan it's like it's so hard to get like, yeah it's like a mix of like we already yeah. our, our like mates we hang out with like all the time like fucking hate the show well they don't hate they're it dogs. but it's like they, they're not even giving it a listen nah nah not like, at all Okay, Maz gave up on two episodes. Jordy, Maz, like, Jordy's we just paid him just, out and he gave up. Jordy's just that person who doesn't watch. The thing is, though, Jordy does nothing, though, besides work. So he could literally, he's at home for like eight, I don't know, probably oh, like 30, 40 hours a day. He just have it on the background. Yeah, he could. Um, who else? Like Alistair. I mean, we spoke about him a little earlier. He's a little autistic, so yep. I don't even think he knows how to use. He thought YouTube. he thought TikToks were podcasts, so that's, uh, that's yeah. When we it. when we released our first TikTok, he was like, he was like, "Oh, dude, I love the podcast." <laughs> yeah, when's the next one? When's the next one? It was like, what? We haven't released it yet. It's like a week before we started. Yeah, that, that was just the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, but yeah. So shout out to Jesse. Yeah, you're a mad dog, Jesse. Mad dog. Catch uh, up soon, bro. We we are trying to organize shirts. Yeah. I really do want to try and get them done before. Should we have a look after the show? Yeah. yeah well, yeah. I do really want to try and get it done before you go to Bali. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so cool. Even if we could just do shirt for you, you and me. Yeah, it's a few, two samples. Yeah. Um. <sighs> One thing, so I'm going to get into something now, and it is, it's going to sum up a lot of different topics in this one topic. So TV shows. Um, recently, The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah. I haven't haven't had a chance. Neither have I. Obviously, yeah. someone who plays Xbox, I've never played the game. I used to watch the walkthroughs of mm. um, it being played on PlayStation. Yeah. Obviously, one game of the year, etc. Yeah, it looked fucking amazing. Um, the dude who plays the Mandalorian is the main character, yep. or one of the main characters. Yep. Um, 
and I've really been into like getting back into The Walking Dead. So a zombie show, like I'm like, Fuck yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah. Um, it's just having kids. It's very hard to find time to watch it. Yeah, but I'm eventually gonna sit down and watch it. So you haven't watched it? No, nah, not yet. I was waiting to hear a few more episodes in. Oh, okay, so it's episode to episode. Yeah, yeah, there's okay. one a week. So okay, you probably well, could like, do all right yeah, watching probably, it, yeah. I probably could, yeah, because I thought it was like all out. No, nah, no, nah, it's like one a week, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, well, I might have to get back into it. Oh, might get into it. And what's, I think it's on Binge. Yeah, it's on Binge, which, yeah. which is where I watch The Walking Dead. Yes, yeah, cool. And um, so what I wanted to say about The Walking Dead, um, don't you love this, right? I'm like, I saw that The Walking Dead ended like officially, and yeah. I was like, Fuck, I stopped watching around season five, season six. I was the same way, actually. I, w- yeah. I wouldn't mind getting back into it. And I was like, what better way than to start from the very start? Because, mm. like, the very start is really fucking good. And it did fall off around season five, season yeah. six. And I'm watching it. And I think I get up to season two, like episode five, and my missus goes, Oh, I've sort of seen it in, like, my peri- peripherals, like. I sort of want to watch it now. And and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll watch it with you. I'm, I'm like, keen. I'll, she's never watched it yeah, before. Yeah, awesome. That's good to get into I'm it. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm keen as, like, let's watch it. And she goes, oh, you don't have to. And I was like, no, I don't care. So I start back from season. <laughs> like, I, I literally... another 10 hours. <laughs> I literally just watched that, like, the yeah. week before. Anyway, this is over the holidays. Yeah. I'm watching it. And we get up to season three. Making it through season two is hard, though. It gets so boring on the farm, though. It does for a bit. But we get up to season three, talking about, like, Andrea and fucking yeah. Woodbury and shit. Yeah. And, um, like, I say to her, you know, we put the kids down at night, and I'm like, Walking Dead, let's go. And she's like, nah, I'm pretty tired. And I'm like, Okay. Yeah, oh, I just oh, I'm really really interested in watching it. Theo goes down for a nap the next day. I'm like, Walking Dead, let's go. And she's like, Nah, I was, I was just thinking a bit of quiet time. I was like, Okay, fair enough. We don't get much of that. Next night, same thing. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, <laughs> You didn't have to watch it with me. And I was like, Yeah, but I wanted to watch it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I get that. I get that. So like, she never asked me to, which I get. But I was hmm. like. I was like, I'm once you start something together, you want to keep. I'm it gonna get so far. It's a bonding ahead. experience, yeah. Yeah, or because she was like, I can watch it when you're at work, and I was like, yeah, but then you're gonna you're gonna watch stuff and then talk to me about it, and I'll be like, oh yeah, like I remember that now. I wish I saw that. Yeah, yeah, that you, you get that. Me. Yeah. So I'm um, yeah, I'm a bit like, so I'm I'm torn. I'm like, do I keep watching it by myself? Or it's it's a like hard one. Her. Like you could always just like say to each other like, Oh yeah, what episode are you gonna watch up to? I'll watch up to that. Like I don't think it will happen. She's really bad with movies and T V shows. Like she's only watched like halfway through Black Panther. Yeah, okay. And yeah. not because she doesn't like it, but because she's just like non to black bored. people. I get it, yeah. Well yeah. But because she gets bored and she's like, Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna turn it off. It does get so boring halfway through, I feel the movie. I watched it like the first time the other month. Yeah, but like a lot of movies. Like, yeah, they do. They, they, some of them will stay in the middle. Like, I feel like for me, if I'm watching a movie, I watch the whole... If, I'm, if, I'm, if I make it through 10 minutes, the movie's on. It's yep. like, I'm watching the whole movie. Yeah. If the first 10 minutes doesn't grab me, I've heard the movie's good, I'll keep watching it. If it's some random Netflix thing I've never heard of, usually if it's pretty shit, the first 10, I'll go, eh, well, I'll go on my phone, I'll have a wank what's on or something, and you know, just background it. <laughs> it gets good, I'm like, wait, dick away, what's this? Who's going, what's going on now? <laughs> um, Where did Jason Statham come from? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so speaking of briefly talking about Marvel there yeah have you heard about what's happened to uh, uh, Jeremy Renner dude yeah he like flipped, flipped his snowplow or something didn't he um, I'm pretty sure he got like ran over by <laughs> holy snowplow. shit um, I'm pretty sh- certain they're amputating his leg I heard about that I heard about that so that makes me think how does he continue to play Hawkeye like you can't. Well, the way they killed off Chadwick Boseman in it was like, they just don't even say it. But you it's can't like do that. You can't do that again. What if they just go like, they bring him back, but it's like, they have him just like in sitting scenes or just being normal. They have an attack from like Kang or something, I feel. 
mm. like blows through the wall. Like you know how in like um an in game how it happens, they like, blow through everything and attack yeah. them all. Something like that. And like yeah. Hawkeye will get damaged. Like, oh, he's hurt. Like he's lost his leg, but he can still shoot his bow from his like um wheelchair. <laughs> from his wheelchair. Oh, okay. I thought that'd be the way to do it. And he Give him a bring... robot leg and there's CGI him walking and some guys carrying him around. He could be um in the wheelchair fucking um, lawn bowls. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fine. Actually, yeah, we can get... He'd be so good at it too. Yeah. Fucking hell. He'd be good at it. But he doesn't also get drunk. He's only half disabled. Yeah, exactly. Um, And there's something else that you sent me today Um, that's another TV show. Oh, about Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Yeah, so um, Justin Roiland, um, after his... You know, he's on trial for domestic violence. Like, he well, beat his wife or something. For anyone who doesn't know, he voices Rick and Morty. Yeah, and also writes the show and created it. Okay, so how the fuck... That's what we get, yeah. So, uh, Al Swim released a statement today saying that they're no longer um, associating or, you know, working with him. But Rick and Morty will continue for next season. With a di- He voices, like, 95% of the cast. Yeah. Like he voices Rick Morty and a lot of the characters. Doesn't he voices he? every character in the um in like the what's it called the intergalactic TV stuff. Yeah. And if you played um High on Life, which just came out um uh, probably like two months three months ago, um he voices like half the characters in that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so he wrote it, created it, voices nearly every yeah. character. And but he doesn't own the show. Mm. Because he's sold the rights. Yeah, it's see, like just how Family Guy's been made without Seth MacFarlane in it. Ah, uh, yeah. See that that's that's the problem with big companies. That's why, like this podcast, like if someone ever sorry came writing to us, it, Daniel Daniel Bell's gonna catch me up for this. He reads it. Seth MacFarlane still writes, still still voice acts Family Guy, but doesn't write any episodes. That's okay. what I meant. As the callback, because Daniel does that he watch little though? Nazi cunt. He does watch. He's called me out a few things on it, little bastard. So there you go, Daniel. That's for you. Yeah. But that's the thing Side with note. these big companies. Like, they... they, I think it happened a few years ago with, like, Taylor Swift. Like, um, her album, like, she wanted to release it. And they were like, no. And she... So she had to, like, buy back the album. Yeah, like, buy all the rights to the songs. Yeah, and, and then yeah. I think she, like, left the studio or the... Whatever, they, whatever it's called. Yeah. Just so she could release it. Yeah. So, like, imagine if someone came up to us and they're like, oh, like, we own Potty on the Rocks. You guys can go do another show, but, like, someone else will come in and do Potty on the yeah, Rocks. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, like, a lot of that stuff, like, producers and that, like, once you sell your rights to a studio to make something, yeah. like, they own your IP. Like, always, like, Saturday Night Live well, guys, They own your ass. They literally, yeah, they do. And yeah. they'll probably fuck it if you look for the Weinstein Company. Yeah. Well, don't drop the soap. Sometimes I would like to challenge, though, I feel. In prison and that, if I was getting a bit lonely, I think I would. Just to see what would happen. I'm like, just to get... Do you reckon like, that's... Imagine like- a Mythbusters episode where it's just one of the guys getting, like, brutally sodomized. He's like, drops a sword from the prison, get you raped. Mythbusters. And it's just like him... <laughs> he's like, yup, yup. We watched every guy on the team, including the girl got raped, watching him Mythbusters. Mythbusters. <coughs> yeah, it's just, they're all like big black guys that are like bigger than them so like yeah. they, they have no they couldn't really fight them off no but to make it a fair test they go to each prison in the USA and do it yeah and he's like yeah Jerry he's been raped 54 times and just comes up with like a fucking stats of how many rape and like how much of guns or semen and if they came or not and like it's a full stats account and it's like it's like anal um, anal hemorrhaging yes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Um, what else do I have that'd to be go? a good Mythbusters episode oh so, speaking of a myth, or whatever, it's not really a myth. <laughs> I love the segues, though. I'm really impressed by these. We're, we're doing better. Yeah, I feel like this episode, it's not as good, but... Uh, we'll, we'll see. So, have you ever heard of the term soaking? Oh, the Mormon term? The Mormon term. I've heard of soaking. I've heard of soaking. So, I heard this recently, and I'm like, that is the most odd thing I've ever heard. So, in the Mormon religion, you're not allowed to have sex before marriage. Yep. Right. Which I'm pretty sure is like most religions. Yeah, most of them are like that, yeah. So, they do a thing called soaking, where the, where the man puts his penis inside the woman. Yeah, just but like just slightly just dips it in. Doesn't he go all the way in and they just yeah. sort of lay there together? He, well, you know the other part of soaking, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So, that's the first part of it. So, the penis will go in soft. Right, oh. because they'll just like kind of sit on it, and then two of their friends or two other people will get the bed, 
and like all the butt and just like move it around and push it so it's like gyrating together so you rub them together and then Slayer will get harder and like be fucking her but they'll just be moving the bed for them so they're not doing anything they're just laying there still but their friends are helping them the other couple will help them what? and they'll swap it's like Mormon teenagers do this they swap like um, partners I they, assume they could, probably could. It wouldn't count yeah, as cheating. Yeah, they're like, bro, I, I didn't fuck your girlfriend. I was Definitely just soaking with her. Bro, my dick only got so hard because you were shaking me so hard, bro. It's your fault. Bro, imagine using that like if your missus was like, you cheated on me. You're like, no, I was just soaking with I her. I was soaking and the boys were just shaking me. We were playing washing machine. <laughs> I didn't fuck her. I was soaking. <laughs> I was soaking. Um, <laughs> my penis was really dry and fucking cold and she warmed it up for me we were soaking yeah chucked it in the cock warmer for a couple of minutes <laughs> the old cock warmer I love that <laughs> um, but yeah I heard that and I was like that's a really fucking weird term so I looked up a few more weird things in the urban dictionary yeah okay um, cool and none come to mind <laughs> yeah that was great <laughs> um, I, I know a few cool sex ones like the old the old rusty trombone is like it's it's got a weird name but it's so normalised now is it like getting a Remy while getting a hand? Yeah, Remy a hand job from the back. Yeah. Just Remy a hand job. That's not allowed. That's just fun. That's just yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, Have you had one? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Rust trombone's fucking slap. Oh, okay. Um, they're a bit. You feel a bit like emasculated. That's part of the fun, I think. Yeah, I don't. I I don't think I'm up for that. No, no. I'm I'm up not up for ass play for myself. Oh, okay. Well, um. Maybe after a few more beers, um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what are the other ones? Oh, a Tokyo Sandblast is a good one. Um, it's when you're using, you use a spit with your pre-cum and get a bit like, you're fucking go on the beach. Yeah. But a spit or pre-cum and, you know, you're jerking off, rub your dick in sand, cover it in sand oh. and just shove it in and give it a good fuck. Oh. Tokyo Sandblaster. Fuck, that's going to hurt. It would do. It would Both do, yeah. of you. Yeah, it would fucking kill. I mean, it would probably hurt more for her. Um, oh, um, the Alaskan Pipeline's a good one. People get the Alaskan Pipeline um, confused with the Alaskan with space um, space docking. Uh, yes. Okay, so people think the, so. The Alaskan Pipeline is when you like shit into a condom, right? Yeah. And then you use it, sh- you freeze it, freeze it, and then fucking with it. All yeah. right, that's the Alaskan Pipeline. People like to think that's space docking, but space docking is when you shit into each other's assholes until one of you comes. Just keep pushing the shit back and forth between your assholes. <laughs> is it frozen? No, 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 no. You're just shitting into each other's assholes. How does that work? Think about it. You open, you open your asshole. If you can, I'm doing it right. Try and do it right now. Just You know, you just kind of like... You know how you like tense, tense, you make your dick dance? That's tensing your asshole. The first move of that is loosening it. Oh, we we just passed to a gay sex podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, well, sort of on the talk of sex coming, etc. So you know how like a lot of people talk about semen retention and how how much benefits it has. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, after seven days, it actually plateaus, like or it yeah, go, it goes completely down, like further than it was before. I've, I oh, dude, I've actually noticed this. So. Apparently, after two weeks of not masturbating, you just start having wet dreams. Um, yeah, I've heard. I think <laughs> was saying about this. We might have to block his name because he might actually. This one's actually pretty intense. Okay, yeah. This is bad. Um, no, I think he was talking about having weird dreams like recently because he's been doing him. Um, <laughs> block all his names. Um, have been doing like the same retention, and I started just because I had a UTI the other week, last episode. So um, I start I start doing it as well, just like not jerking off, knowing sex. My dick was sore, and yeah, I noticed the first week of it, I was like, yeah, I'm really like keen for the gym, testosterone up. Then after a week, I was like, I don't really even want to have sex. I'm chilling, like lost my testosterone, had a wank. Holy shit! Okay, on man. semen demon time. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah, the wet dreams thing. All the boys have having them after like a month of not um, jerking yeah. off. Well, yeah. So it's all a myth. Like I, like I. I've heard it so many times, like, oh, you know, quit masturbating, blah, blah, blah. You'll get semen retention and, like, you'll get so much more testosterone. And it, it is true that it, like, spikes. Yeah. But then as soon as it hits its peak, it drops lower than it was yeah, before. Yeah, because you're losing that, um, that will, that, like, masculine yeah. power. Um, I feel it, like, 
it's good for me, like, especially if you go to the gym and stuff. We don't like, or if you have a sex and don't come, and you go for, like for a few days, like you just get that bit more like macho yeah. testosterone feel. But yeah, after a while, if you're just not jerking off and stuff, I feel like you just lose that. Interest. And then and then you're fucking in front of the mirror while flexing, and you're like, Ugh. that's yeah, that American like come American on. psycho just like doing that fucking yeah. You're oh. fucking her dad while doing that. <laughs> Cool. No, I'm just sucking my own dick in the mirror or just like look how like strong my legs are just like teensy my quads <laughs> oh fucking hell this podcast is spiraling and it's I blame very... the fucking better beers honestly it put me in a bad mood we tried to offend every race we could and every gender and every like type of person besides the whites because we're for the whites um but where do where do we go from here where do we go from here where do we go top G the top G well, yeah, have you heard, have you heard the latest on the top G? I haven't. I haven't. I know he's in jail, but I haven't heard. Yeah. So, that. um, the judge has extended his uh, jail sentence for an extra thirty days. Oh, okay. Before leading his trial. leading more back to what I said before. He's most likely not the top G. Yeah. It, he's, it's kind of sounded like he really did this. Yeah, like he had the life, and now it's all going. Down. Now he's going to be a prison wife. Yeah. Life to prison wife. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually... I think he's going to get beaten really badly in prison. You reckon? I feel like... Because he's just such a talkative, like, douchey uh, cunt. Like... I don't know. He seems pretty cool. Like, on podcasts and stuff. Yeah, but you know he's, like, very opinionated in that. I feel like in prison that wouldn't go so well. Like, trying to be the top G wouldn't... He can't... He's, like he's not going to be top G is what I mean. Like... Cuts back to him in prison. Like, he is the top Yeah, dog. he's the king. Well, it's like... um, I saw on a podcast... Uh, the guy who's Wolf Wall Street was based on... What's his name? Um, um, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jordan... Jordan Balfour. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Balfour. Balfour. Yeah. yeah he was saying, no, prison was fine. Somebody, somebody asked him... Like, it was some, like, hot, red hot question. Like, oh, did you get, like, raped or have problems in prison? He's like, no. Like, prison's fine if you have money. Yeah. You have money. You like I paid him to go to my laundry. I paid him to go do this. I like, paid everyone. I wanted another seat. I paid the guy to get me a seat. Like I was getting books, getting cigarettes, getting whatever I wanted in prison. Mm. If you have money, prison's fine because people work for money. As yeah. long as you got money to pay people, you've got protection. Mm. If you can That's get money right. in there, you're fine. If you have money, you can hire the biggest, the blackest criminals to rape your enemies. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds great. Actually, it's like Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> you're like you're like go and get you. <laughs> No, but like that, like some. Grab my I'm just gonna grab a drink off camera. So, oh, you just tickled my feet. <laughs> um, but Do like someone, no, nah, this shit. I'm gonna give mine to Craig. Oh, I'm gonna die. I can't. Now. I can barely fucking talk at this point. I need a drink. Um, yeah. So like the the fucking the ginger from the fucking Celtic cult <laughs> sends over the biggest ginger rapist. <laughs> To rape, the Celtic, the Celtic gang to rape you, and you're like, "Well, fuck! I don't have, I don't have any big white men to send back at him." Yeah, I'm gonna you, send these two big black brolic dudes. Yeah, over there, obviously in there for like the most heinous, minimalist crimes. <laughs> they they literally like one the, robbed Seven Eleven, and the other one literally was playing with his Nerf guns on the street past seven p.m. Yeah, and they both somehow got done with like raping someone. Oh in the park. no. No, let's not push. Like that's a bit far fetched. Like if he, yeah, if he had a fake gun in the street, he would have been gunned down. Yeah, true. He wouldn't make it to prison. That's true. That's he, true. He, he, he had he had one gram of uh, weed on him. <laughs> yeah, and he was prisoned. That was like three strikes and you're out because the first time you got caught uh, near a parked car that was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> three strikes and you're out, bro. As I need two. Nah, be talk back. Yeah. Yeah. I ha- have you seen the thing someone was like oh I've got the best tip for anyone who gets pulled over by the cops and it's late at night um, when they pull you over like quickly grab your wallet out of your pocket <laughs> open the car door and sprint at them like this yeah if you make the job easier for them <laughs> yeah uh, I think I've seen it on TikTok <laughs> but imagine doing that the cops would just be like, boom, 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 boom. yeah yeah or you get to them and you're like oh cheers cheers mate like cheers bro you can wait in your car yeah uh, I actually um one time I got pulled over right um drink driving I was drunk as fuck right one of the only, <laughs> one of the only few times a drunk drive home besides these podcasts um and like I like made the whole way home I was driving south but seeing a girl um left at like one in the morning I was like fuck a bit red hot I'm pretty chopped eh 
like uh she didn't really felt me staying i don't want to make it weird i was like got got my shit done let's go um getting out of there drove the whole myself put sweet ass get to like kumba where i lived put into the servo by mine and i was like fuck yeah i made it that's uh get some fuel getting fuel there drunk ass i'm like fuck man i can't believe i made it home as i'm pulling out this cop van drives right past and i was like fuck that's so lucky bro i'm so happy to pull the fuel they're moving right behind me i pull out the cop van's like right in front of me pulls over to the side I'm like, oh get fucked there's no one around just me I keep driving and the cop pulls back out. I'm like, oh, there we fucking go. It was literally just on Oxley Drive, like about yeah. a I, minute from my house. I I'm can, like, and like, I was thinking, can I just like drive a little bit further and like get to my house before I pulled over? I was like, nah, I'm just going to take it. I was going to take it. At this point, I can just leave my car here, walk home. I'm going to get done with drunk driving. It's all good. Pull over. I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. They raised my headlights on. I'm like, oh, fuck. Better turn them on. That's so bullshit. Like, put my phone in my pocket. At least I wasn't, like, sitting on the dash or anything like that. Wind down my window. Cop, lady cop comes and goes, Oh, hey, mate. Um, Just want to let you know your your lights weren't on when you left the servo. But all good now. Um, Have a good night. And I'm like, Oh, yeah, you too. Cheers for that. Like, oh, fuck. I didn't, I didn't even realize you guys pulled me over. She's like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Have a good night. And gets back in her van and drives off. So she didn't click that you said, I didn't realize you pulled me over. I was like, I didn't realize until you pulled me over, I said. Oh, like, okay. I didn't realize until you pulled me over. My lights weren't on. Uh, and so yeah it's all good have a good night mate and I was like holy shit do you reckon she just didn't want to fill out paperwork like, no she, that's what I thought because she's getting w- ready to clock off yeah because they're in the van they're probably looking for like actual criminals yeah and they're like uh, we don't, we're not hire a patrol fuck this uh, mm. it's not worth the paperwork like you're a good mate just fuck off like yeah. and I just drove home got out of my car called the check and I was like holy shit I just I never got drunk drive again and I haven't drunk drive since. And then she said, come over and fuck me again. You're like, okay. Yeah, she's like, that must mean, if you drove safely, it must your dick must work. What are you up to? <laughs> That's why she kept me out. Yeah. Um, fuck. Oh, dude, I have a story. And this is completely off topic. That's fine. So when I was a kid, like, um, we saw this event unfold and it was pretty scary. So this this limo driver is driving, and I think it's it might be Oxley Drive too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Limo that's that's how you tie the question. In. Oh, I remember Oxley Drive. I got a story about it. <coughs> but limo driver, he's driving down, and these kids like just chuck rocks at it. <laughs> is it fucking watermelon? Smash or something? the huh? front windscreen. No, like I was like I would have been like ten. Yeah. Okay. 12, ten, twelve. There's like skater boy kids or what? Like. Yeah, and and they go to climb the the fence to the estate behind there, mm. like that. Uh, what's it called? Like the keys, Harbour Town. Yeah, keys. yeah, yeah, yeah. But none of like the buildings weren't there yet. It was back. It was yeah, that it was where it was just like yeah, just a like while ago. Yeah, fucking construction site shit. Um. Anyway, the limo driver's pulled over, and like these two kids have quickly jumped up, like chucked their scooters over and stuff, and this one kid's struggling. And the fucking limo driver gets him, bro, and he's choking him out. Like, legit beating him and choking him out. Fucking and, hell. And my mum and my auntie were all in the same car. We fucking go up to those little lights there, turn around, park on that side of the road. They get out, they sprint across, and they're like, hey, hey, get off him. And we're in the car, like, shitting ourselves because he's fucking turned the limo, and it's, like, right in front of our car. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, they've gone over to him. They're like, get off him, get off him. He's got off him and walked over to the limo, bro. And we're in the car shitting ourselves, like <laughs> thinking, oh my God. He's going to kill us. He's going <laughs> to fucking murder us. <laughs> but this dude was like choking him. Like, like for dear like, life. Like, kill, yeah. I reckon he would have... I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Siri. Um, cheers. Our next guest. Yeah, ch- Siri just chiming in. Chirping. Doesn't understand. She wants to hear more details about him choking her. But him. yeah, so I was wondering. So if you got into a fight with that limo driver or Khabib Namago Medov, whatever yeah. the fuck his name is, <laughs> who do you reckon chokes you out first? <laughs> I feel like some like dad strength limo driver that literally paid for his own limo and that's his whole job. Yeah. And he has that like it's not just like he's fighting for the prize of winning. He's fighting for like his whole livelihood, and this one twelve-year-old. He's probably he, honestly, he's probably not winning life. He's a limo driver, and this one twelve-year-old has just 
hit him. There's this like fucking like 25 years of anger and hate. There's probably like cum in the backseat. Let me just wash off. Like <laughs> shit like that. But there's probably people throwing up back there and he's got to deal with all that shit. Like it's gross as shit. And this kid has a destiny to break his windscreen. Yeah. And he's just out there like stopping this kid's face like trying to curb something like American History X. Just like, Oh, fucking hell. And I would to- I totally understand that and I would rather fight Khabib. But who's in the wrong there? I mean, the kid's in the wrong for doing it, but the man should like just hold him down call the police. Not like brutally like assault this child the police wouldn't do fucking anything the police would um have gone with the kids to make them pay for it like to give them the bill that's how that works yeah. so if you get caught chopped up against shit and you like or you break something someone else's the police mm-hmm. like make your parents deal with it they drive you home make your parents like pay for it i remember when daniel ma stole bro i was there yeah that's right i was there for that that's a funny story that's a funny story maybe we can bring it up next week yeah that's that's the one for next week well that might be the end of this week's podcast then yeah well um cheers for listening guys yeah cheers cheers for listening cheers for watching um again like we said earlier the better beer oh sorry the drink review in its hole in my hole in connor's hole it's we review it so you don't have to. Or we drink it so you don't have to. Yeah, and <laughs> so maybe now, we should, oh, I was saying, maybe every week we should add in, like, if we say yes or no to it, like, yeah, I'd get it. Like, a proper, like, would we recommend? Well, we really can't do that with our rating system anyway. Well, I was about to say, I have a list here, and I'm going to show Connor right now our drink ratings list. Oh, that's so good, So man. I can pop it up on the screen. Oh, the Excel boy out here. Yeah, so... Or oh, Apple Numbers. I can make sell. Same thing. Um, so I've worked out that. So I'm just gonna say from anything less than four point five is a bad drink. Yeah. Anything between four point six and six point nine is a average drink. Yeah. And anything above seven is like I approve. Like get. This. Yeah, that's like you should definitely try us. You won't. You the won't. The orange. It. The orange to me is like a um. Like, it, if it's on special, it, grab it. Yeah, it's like a. I probably won't get it again, but you might like. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's worth it giving it a go and see if you like it. Like, buy a single, <laughs> don't buy a ten pack. And the reds are like, don't even fucking bother. Yeah, the reds are like, don't touch it. Yeah. So th- this for me, I think, yeah, this is gonna be in the red. Cause yeah, I, definitely. I, red, I said, yeah. what did I say? A three point five. Yeah, I'll put in the red though as well, cause like. Well, I yours like it would be red anyway, cause it's a four. You said yeah. a four. Um, well, as the scale gets we have more drinks reviewed and yeah. the scale will slide a bit more yep um, also I want to point out um, so I've won the first skull off Connor won the second I've won the third first week I said cunt once second week Connor said it no second week first week Connor said it twice second week episode 11 I didn't say cunt once. And if you can find it, let me know because I didn't hear it. Um, Connor said cunt eight times. Fucking hell. Eight times. And I know in this episode, I've definitely said it a few times and I've I've caught myself in my head. I'm like, fuck, I just said it. I don't remember if I've said it or not on this one. Yeah, you've said it a couple of times. Fucking hell. So, All right. Um, so I think we've worked out we're just going to do a dollar yeah. per cunt. Um, and at the end of the month... So, in this episode, I guess. Yeah. Well, next episode we'll do a. Yeah, we'll do, do a tally up. We'll and do a punt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a live punt. Yeah, live. Yeah, we should. Should we? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, live punt and whatever sports playing either the next day or that night. Yeah, just chuck a molt in the basketball or something. I assume. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. So, cheers for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like us. Subscribe. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify. We actually have yeah. um, quite a lot of reviews on Spotify. Do we? Yeah. Oh, fucking go che- us. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, guys. I um, appreciate cheers. that. Um, yeah, if you do enjoy it, um, if you don't enjoy it, the review in general does help. Like, yeah. Uh, we just need enough to show them up as well. So, like, even if you, like, you know, you think, it's, you think it is average, give it a three or four. Like, it's still good because we need, if we don't have enough reviews in general, they don't show up. Yep. Um, and if you don't like Slam that like button. <laughs> Slam that. Blow that like button up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.